page turners and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with a hat who reads, and this is The Light Brigade by Cameron Hurley. Okay, <laughs> I am starting to find out this year that I am apparently not a big fan of military sci-fi novels. I This is the third one I've read in that genre now this year, and I started, of course, with Shrouded Loyalties, which if you follow the channel at all, you know exactly how I felt about that novel. Um, and then I later on I read 16th Watch by Mike Cole, which I thought was okay, but I was disappointed that it kind of ended the way it did because there's been no words of a sequel anywhere in production or coming. And now we have The Light Brigade. Now, the general setup is, is that in this galactic war, Earth is against Mars, because it's, well, because plot. Um, and they have developed a technology to transport people there, troops there really quickly by literally turning them into light and sending them there instantly. So the concept is really good. <clears throat> I actually really enjoyed this at the start. But as it progressed and we got into the actual main plot of the novel, it really started to fall apart for me. I'm... All of a sudden, our main character is, well, they are moving around out of time. They're pretty much living the battles of this war out of the correct order in time. So time is all screwed up, and their main character is confused at what's going on, as are we the readers. We don't have a clue what's going on for, at least I didn't have a clue. Maybe I just didn't get it. I don't know. A good chunk of this, I was confused what was going on. Once I kind of got into what was going on, that they're like, oh yeah, she's doing all this out of order of time, it started to make, you could start to kind of piece it together a little bit. But by that point, I was already getting annoyed. <laughs> I was finding myself have to really push myself to read this. I mean, for those of you who read a lot of sci-fi, I also just started Empire of Silence, and I wanted to get this one finished before I committed too much to that, but it was really hard because that book is really good so far, and this one I was just, like, struggling to get through, and it was really... Ugh. Anyway, I love how it's written. The writing style is great. I mean, here, I'm going to just give you, like, a little bit of the opening here. They said the war would turn us into light. I wanted to be counted among the heroes who gave us this better world. That's what I told the recruiter. That's what I told my first squad leader. It's what I told every CO, and there were a couple. And that's what I tell myself when I was alone in the dark, cut off from my platoon, the sky full of blistering red fire, too hot to send an evac unit, and a new kid was squealing and dying on the field. But it's not true. And that's what I mean. It's just... It was really well written. There's times I was like, God, I love how this is written. I love this prose that's being thrown out here. But but the story eventually around it, after you get through the first little bit where they're in training, the training I loved. I loved all of that. I loved when they're in training and they're struggling to be turned into soldiers and all that. I thought that was fascinating. I loved that. But then when they actually get into the actual war itself, I started to lose interest. The... Our main character is literally our only real character here. If you're looking for good character camaraderie between these characters, it's not going to happen because a lot of the other characters are just names as far as I'm concerned. You easily confuse them. They are so many that you're trying to keep track of. And since it's out of order of time, you can't get any emotional connections to some of these characters because of that. And you're jumping and then all of a sudden the... The unit that of soldiers that's going out is different and you're like well who are these people why am i supposed to care about these people what happened to the people we were caring about and you don't see them for a good chunk of pages all of a sudden they're back well i don't care about them i care about these now overall it's well written and i like some of the ideas that they threw into here but as a whole i thought it was kind of a mess maybe that's just me like i said maybe military sci-fi isn't for me. I actually only gave this like a high two stars, low three. It's in that range for me. It just did not work for me. And that's just me. I mean, I know people love this book and I'm glad they love it. I did not enjoy it. I just thought it, 
it felt like a mess. And then the resolution, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but the resolution just seemed to really be instant. It's like, oh, yep, we have this solved now. And I, I don't know. I, I didn't love it. I, like I said, I thought it was kind of a mess. I thought it was a little confusing. And maybe that's just me. If you like it, great. Or have you read The Light Brigade? Let me know what you thought of it or if this review was to your liking in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep turning pages.